the question is about using Google Chrome developer tools, and Jen's going to give an overview of that. Sure. So the Google, oh, do you want to record this, Bernie? I am. Oh, <laughs> all righty then. Uh, the Google Chrome developer tools uh, is set up as a default feature in Chrome. Uh, Firefox also has one, an extension that you can upload. But you can go to it by clicking on these three little uh, lines up here in the top of your browser. Click on that, and then go to Tools. And then you're going to choose Developer Tools down at the bottom. Yep. So this brings up, basically it brings up on the left-hand side, your HTML of your page. And then on the right-hand side is all the CSS that is styling this page. So you can see just quickly looking on the right-hand side, here's the background colors, that pink that we chose, and uh, the black elements as well. So this is a great place to come and kind of test out different styles and adjustments to your website without actually committing to uploading the code and potentially breaking your site. You can turn elements on and off and play with them without having to actually save and, and upload. So one of the things that we would want to do maybe is to try to find the width of this white area to see if we can make it larger. So we'll click down here on this little spyglass, this little search button, and this will let us search the different areas of our site. So by hovering over different elements, you'll see that this container is, you know, is the one that we're looking for. Yep, this one. So if we click on it, it'll actually highlight it over on the left-hand side, so we know that this is the element we're working on, so we can see the CSS involved with it. And then on the right-hand side, it shows the the background color so if we wanted to contain to change the color of this we could uh, shows that it has a radius on it and things like that so one of the things we can do yep go ahead you can change it to a different color and then as we're playing around with this you'll notice over here on the far right it shows us that this is available in our template.css file and then the 6079 shows the line number. So that will tell us ultimately where we're going to change this in our template.css sheet uh, to make it permanent if we decide to do that. So by changing the background color, we can, or by changing these elements here, we can kind of see what it looks like. But if we refresh the page, you'll notice um, that nothing gets saved. It's just this is just a testing version and everything goes back to normal so if you did finally style something that you wanted to save you would go and you would copy that element and paste it into your template.css let's show them how to get to that area through the back end you'd go to your template manager and open up protostar actually no I lied you would click on this templates tab okay. once once inside the template manager Scroll down to Protostar, open it up, and then here is where you'd access your template.css file. And you'd want to search for, or um, you wouldn't want to count down to line whatever it was, 1,068. Right, <laughs> right. You would probably want to um, do a search and find for that element and replace it. Right, um, and can you do, in yours, uh, can you do a control F to yep. search? Yeah. Control, so Control F. F brings up a little search box. And do you remember what that container was uh, called? It was container, I think. So you just do a search for a container. It's going to pull up all the things okay. that are named container, and then you can just browse through. Try to find the right one. Definitely, we rec recommend taking it back up your site before you make changes like this. Exactly. And you might want to always keep a clean copy of your template.css or the default copy if you do modify it. All right. Thanks, Jen. So you can see there's 32 different th uh, elements with the word container in it. So it's just a matter of finding the right one for modifying. Very good.